okay, so this is the first layout that I'm going to do for Calvin Ball. Now, I plan on doing 31 layouts for this challenge, and it's a challenge that's going on at Get It Scrapped, and I'll have the links down below. And uh, so even though I plan on making 31 pages, it doesn't mean that I'm going to be scrapping every day. And because on the days that I work, I, I just can't, um, can't get time. Oops, sorry. Can't get time to scrapbook because I work 12 hour days and it's like from 6.30 at night till 6.30 in the morning. So by the time I come home and I go to bed and when I get up, it's time to go back to work. So, um, so I won't be doing that when I'm working, but on the days that I'm off, which I usually have five days off in a row, and then in March, I have two weeks off. Starting on March 11th, I have two weeks. I finish the 12th in the morning, and then I don't go back, it's almost two weeks, and then I don't go back till the 25th. So, um, yeah. So I'm going to have lots of time then, but I'm also working on the class. So I've got to finish that up too. So this is my new Cutter Pillar crop. And I have the Cutter Pillar Pro. And it was so big I could never bring it into videos. Plus I'm going to a couple of crops. So Cutter Pillar crop. And um, <clears throat> so I just got that one. And I have to say the light on this one is much better than the other one. You can really see where you're supposed to cut with this one. So I really, um, really like that much more on that one. Um, I like my big one, but I do like that a lot. So this was kit number one. So if you look, I'm going in order. This is the number one kit. Now, I got super sick last week and I ended up spending three days in bed. So I didn't get everything done that I wanted to get done. I did get 61 pages uh, all together now. All the videos aren't up yet. But I have 61 pages that I have all the embellishments, but I have no pictures, no journaling or anything. So my next days off, I'm going to... So from now on, you'll see videos of actually some days making the pages. And then some days I'm still going to be building up my kits. So it's going to be sort of a mixture of both because I'm going to keep prepping some pages and then working on some pages that I already kind of built and then just kind of chose choose the picture as I'm doing the pages, if that makes any sense. So this one, when I put it together, and I still remembered when I looked at the page, I'm like, oh yeah, I said I wanted to go find the picture of my daughter holding a little chickadee. I don't know if you can see that. Anyway, they were they would come and eat right out of their hands. It was so cute. There was still a lot of snow out. I believe it was like in March or something. Now, if it was this year, you wouldn't see any snow because there's no snow right now. What? What? <laughs> I'm so happy. I am not a snow person. There's a lot of people that are a little upset because they have like snow vehicles and all that stuff, but I don't like snow, so I am not one bit sad that there's no snow. Um. So as I was perusing all my photos the other week, um, cause I was trying to find pictures that I could print. And as I was putting these kits together and a lot of people are asking me like, how do you know, like, how can you find pictures to go with each layout? Well, as I'm putting layouts together, you'll see in further videos that I went and got a little paper pad and I'm actually writing on this what I'm thinking, what pictures and that I could use because these pictures are making, are bringing back memories of stuff that, oh yeah, you know, like when I saw these bird pages, I'm like, oh yes, then I had to go find these pictures. So that's what's going to take me a little bit of time is going to go and to find some of these pictures. So I spent a couple of hours trying to find pictures and I mentioned on my last um, process video that I a lot of my pictures are on the SD cards and then I think it was Teresa maybe and she said oh my goodness I hope that's not the only place that you keep your pictures because those erase no it's not like that's just like a secondary like I have three hard drives and a lot of times I save the pictures on all three hard drives just to make sure that I 
don't lose them. But um, I like the little SD cards because it's quick to go to, you know, to get the pictures printed and stuff. But I only started doing that about 2011, I think. So any anything before that, I don't have it on little SD cards. So I found it on my big cart, my big hard drive. So now I got to transfer them over to... Um, a reader thing and then I'll have I'll be able to go print them out but it's just kind of a pain but I'll do that today is March 1st so I'm getting my first layout done on March 1st and if I get more than 31 layouts done which I probably will because I'm doing my class and there's gonna be a ton of pick um, pages done there but it won't be stuff that I'll be um, posting on uh, Calvin ball but I'll still get tons of pages done in in March, but um, I'll just get as much done as I possibly can, and that, I think that's that's going to be fun in itself. Okay, so my phone was full um, when I bought my phone in April. I could choose between the sixty five gig and the hundred and twenty eight. And I had like 13 before, so I was like, oh, 65 is going to be enough. I don't want to spend the extra, I don't know, it was like $150 for the bigger one. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. A year from now, when I get a new phone, I'm getting the bigger phone. Because it fills up so quickly. And I find because I use my phone for filming, I use my iPhone 6. For filming and I use my iPhone 5 before that and um, I find that my phones I don't know they don't last as long like I think because when you're filming it overheats so because um, I mean like this video will probably be you know close to an hour and all the other ones were almost all my videos are about an hour so it makes the the camera kind of hot and it's not good for it so I want to use this little bird page as the I don't know if I want to do it the whole thing but I'll decide later because once I cut it I'm kind of committed but for now I think and this is all the stuff that I had put with this and now I'm just going to start uh, making little piles. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. And um, most of my videos, I have almost 550. I think I checked and it was like 549 process videos. And um, most of them are done in the quick mode. You know, you fast forward times uh, eight and you just do the voiceover. And for Calvin Ball, I decided to do some real-time videos. And um, because, for a couple reasons, one, I want to start doing um, streaming videos. And I want to start, um, you know being able to to talk for long periods of time I'm trying to upload another Calvin ball onto YouTube and I gotta make sure something's running because if my computer goes to sleep then it doesn't it stops it stops adding the video so <clears throat> so yeah so I want to do some real time some what do you call that um, streaming videos and I know that people would be there hopefully <laughs> and I'll be chatting and doing the the videos so hopefully um, that's something else that I'll have to to work on is being able to read what's being said on the screen and then um, also scrapping but this is sort of like my my trial <laughs> uh, period is to sort of get ready for that and 
so that's why I wanted to do some real-time videos to kind of be doing that and getting sort of used to talking for an hour. Because with the other videos that I do, I just put like something on Netflix and then I just scrap and then I'll do the voiceover and it's like 10, 15 minutes. And I have to say, the funny thing is, is three years ago in March, so it's been actually three years um, when I started on YouTube, um, I had to do like a five or seven minute video and I was like, what am I going to talk about? <laughs> this is going to be so long. And now when I have like a 15 minute video, I'm like, oh my goodness, am, you know, am I going to have time to kind of say everything that I wanted to say. So funny how that changes uh, your perspective uh, once you get used to something. So um, yeah, also if you're new to my channel, um, this is, like I said, it's part of Calvin Ball. And um, if you want to check out my blog, it's NicoleJones911.com haven't been very active on there since January. I need to do that again. Um, just even if I, just to put photos of the layouts that I do. I Now that I'm going to be off for a big part of March, I think I'll, I'll get going on that again. And um, also I offer classes. And my first class is... Um, stretch your kit. So we go from the beginning to building a kit and within that kit making some page kits and then doing 18 layouts. The second one was uh, kind of geared for Christmas and it was a December daily. And then the third one was talking about clusters and the kind of stuff that I think about when I, you know, put my clusters together. And then I also like to, um, do free stuff on YouTube too. So I upload about three, three to four times a week. And um, I usually have a schedule. Oh yeah. I usually have a schedule like Wednesdays, it's watercolor Wednesdays, Fridays, it's let's get hit Fridays and Saturdays is scrap your stash Saturdays. But for the month of March, because I'm doing this, I'm going to put that sort of aside for the month of March. And some of the videos I'm going to do in real time like this, and then some of the videos, if, um, I don't know if I find I'm tired and I'm not chatty, <laughs> I'll do it the old way or, you know, the usual way, I guess, and just build the page and then do the process, the voiceover after. So I'll do sort of a combination of both for March. Um, and I don't know if I'll film all 31 videos too, because or 31 pages because that's kind of a lot but and they probably won't all be uploaded in March also um, but I figured if I did um, these plus my regular scrapbooks plus getting my class done there's no way that I was going to get sort of everything done in March I wouldn't be able to get all that done so um, I'll probably, not, not I'll probably, I won't do the regular schedule thing for the month of March. I'll just concentrate on getting the 31 layouts done and then I'll come back to the regular schedule programming in April. Okay, so I'm just going to glue down the photo and I know I want that and that and then the rest I'll, I'll build around it. But I find when things are moving around, I love this background. And this is, I think it's all Maggie Holmes uh, pattern paper. And they're all quite old. Now, oops, I had quite the dilemma when I went to do this page because I knew what photo I wanted and I had saved it on my computer. Now, I still haven't figured out which I got to get on that. But I found a new way, so I guess I don't need to. Um, I still haven't figured out how to get my computer to connect to my Canon selfie. I probably have to download some kind of an app. 
on my computer. Anyway, I just haven't done the research for it, I guess. And I don't know if I still have my book. I think I found it again, but I can't remember what I where I put it for my Canon selfie. And um, so anyway, I was trying to figure out how to, the Wi-Fi works so that I could um, get some pictures. See, I didn't want that that high from my computer that is not on my cell phone. Uh, to print on my Canon selfie because I didn't have time. Not that I didn't have time. I wasn't feeling well enough to go and get some pictures printed last week. I knew sort of the kinds of pictures I wanted printed, but I didn't have, I couldn't go. And um, so anyway, so I was kind of playing around. I, I kind of downloaded it from, it was either from one of the cards or one of the hard drives. And I put it on my computer. So when I clicked on it, there was a little button that looked like, you know, like a little box with an arrow. So I clicked on that and it said airdrop. And I'm like, oh, yes. So then I just kind of, you know, turned my phone on so it wasn't on sleep mode or whatever. And boom, it, it you know, it appeared on the computer where computer where it said iPhone I selected iPhone and it dropped it right on my iPhone and then I was able to print it and I was like yay so I was able to print this photo because I knew that I wanted this photo for the first one and I know it's going to take at least five days for me to get the pictures that I wanted printed so I'm going to have to kind of make do with what I have or now I know that I can at least just print one at a time from you know the pictures that I have and I can get them printed with my Canon selfie and then once I I should be able to go today is what day are we today I don't even know we're March 1st are we Tuesday or Wednesday? Or Tuesday. I did a night shift last night. And I didn't sleep today. Or barely. Some days it's just like that. I think I knew that tonight I wasn't working and I had to sleep. And then it makes it really hard for me to go to sleep that night. And I work tomorrow night. So anyway, I had maybe maybe three hours sleep so but I'm hoping that tonight I get lots of Z's and then tomorrow before I go to work I'm hoping to get one page done I have to sleep in because I have to stay up all night but I'm hoping to get the one page done for tomorrow and then I'm off for five days and there's no hockey. Hockey season is pretty much done, which is so stinking sad. I'm so sad. <laughs> I love hockey. And he, they had such a good team this year. It was a good team. like, And I don't mean good as talented, which they were. They, you know, they, they're in second place in their league. So they did really well. But <clears throat> more than that, which is to me even more important. It was a good group of kids. Like the attitude was just amazing. Instead of putting each other down, they built each other up. And I think it has a lot to do um, with how well they're doing. There's two teams for our area. And um, at the beginning of the year, it truly looked like the other team was going to be a little stronger than what we were going to be because they had more, um, how do you say that, um, kids that were more mature, like been pl playing hockey because now it's midget. So they're, you know, they some of them have been, they're in grade 12. So they're stronger, they're bigger, um, just everything, right? But we ended up, like they're doing better than they are. And I think it has a lot to do with 
um, attitude, right? So they're a good group of kids and they, they build each other up, not down. So it's awesome. So you see, I am not going to anything else that is in my scrap room. Not yet. I'm just kind of taking uh, from what I had put together. And I find once you, you start scrapping like this, it really um, speeds up the process. And I was watching Katie Scott today, and she's another YouTuber here on YouTube, and she does real-time videos all the time. And um, uh, she said she was watching a podcast. I can't remember which one. That's one thing I haven't gotten into. I used to watch the paper uh, clipping roundtable, and um, I found ever since I started watching a lot of stuff on, on Netflix, um, you kind of have to choose pick and choose right like you got to be able to do other stuff in life <laughs> although I wish I could do this all the time I really do um but um so anyway she was saying that one of on one of the podcasts they were kind of talking about I don't know if it was today or another day about why are people all talking about scrapping faster and why aren't they just enjoying the process and, and I've mentioned that many times that I find that this really speeds up the process and everything. And I'll tell you why it's important to me. It's not because I'm trying to rush through things. It's not because um, I don't enjoy the whole process of everything. I still enjoy everything that I'm doing while I'm doing it. It's because of the way life is. It's so ridiculously busy right between work and your kids um, activities and running here and there so when I have a little bit of time I need to make sure that um, that I'm, I'm using it appropriately <laughs> right that I'm actually getting something done because um, if I if I only have like tonight I only have maybe an hour because my husband's going to come home and I work a lot of nights. So whenever, if I'm, I'm home, then he doesn't want me to be upstairs in my craft room all night. Um, we want to watch an episode or two of TV and usually I'm not a late, um, I don't stay up late because I have to stay up late for my living right? I have to stay up all night, all the time. So I really don't enjoy staying up late because I'm like, I got to do that all the time. I need to go to bed. <laughs> I love sleep. And um, so when I have a little bit of time, I want to make sure that I get things done. I, I see results. I see, yes, I got a page done and not, okay, well, I got a few papers chosen and maybe a few embellishments and oh I gotta stop right so it's not necessarily the process that I'm trying to to speed up it's it's because of life and because the way our life is which I mean it's not fun it's not you know something that I would choose um to, to be crazy busy all the time but it's it's life right when you have a full-time job and your husband has a full-time job and your kid is involved in sports and you know you have other kids and you have a grandchild and it's like okay yeah moments are precious <laughs> time is precious you need to to use it wisely. So it's it's more of um, sort of a necessity, I guess. And it's not like I'm like, oh, I, this process kind of annoys me so much that I'm trying to speed through it. It's not more, for me anyway, it's not like that. It's more, okay, I got an hour 
let's get as much done as I possibly can before I have to move on to, you know, to something else that I have to do for that day, whether it's dishes or laundry or whatever the case may be. Although, you know, it would be really nice to have someone to do all that for me. I don't. And I like to do other stuff too. Lately, um, I've really been enjoying reading again, which it's been a long time for me. Um, probably about four or five years. Last year, I read one book. And <laughs> all year. So I've been watching uh, Sarah Swan. Her channel is Sarah's Nightstand. If you want to go check her out, she does great uh, reviews on books and stuff. And um, yeah, I've had to buy a few books, Sarah, because of you, <laughs> which is fine. I just, this, just this week, well, because I was sick too, just this week I've read um, A Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J. Moss. Oh, loved it. And then I finished You by Carol, Carolyn Kepnes at the end of the week. And then I read If I Stay by Gloria something, I think. That one, I'm not too sure who the author is, but I finished that one last night. And then I I just started um, City of Bones by Cassandra Clare. Oh, I'm at page like 60 something. So, ah, loving that. So I, I like to do other stuff too, right? So I want to make sure that I have time for all the stuff that I love. I don't like the way this is. And I know if I put, I think I just want to put something just to kind of finish off the corner at least. Something like that. And that's pretty much all I do. I just take the embellishments and I go and I start finding places for them and usually I don't have to go in my stash too much and the last class that I did was called um, demystifying clustering and I talk about clustering that's the whole class is about um, what I'm thinking and what uh, you know my thought process kind of thing is while I'm doing the clusters. So this is coming along pretty good. I don't know if I want to put the title down here. It really sticks out down here. I feel like I want to put something to kind of finish the borders. Some washi tape. Oh, I have these too that I could put their rub-ons. I could put some of that too. And the title is going to be Love These Moments. So I'm going to have to take some um, little alphas from my stash and put that on there. Now, <clears throat> I can probably use some washi tape. And put washi tape maybe to finish some of that. Oh, that's right. There is... What was that? Oh. Is that a different one? Yeah, it is. Okay. I like the color of this one better. It goes more with the bird. So I'll have to find somewhere for this. Okay. I like those clips, but I find like to put the clip on, you have to cover things up and I don't like that. See, that looks dumb. Anyway, we'll put that aside. Uh, I don't know 
now that pink is close and this is from the new Maggie Holmes shine collection I think I think I think a oh, bloom sorry yeah so it is the new new one okay huh. part of the other washi came off okay So I'd like to have a washi for the top and bottom. So that's another, th I, I love these washi books, but I still like more than one because you want to keep the consistency of the washi, right? You can rip it in half though, but Oops, I don't want to put it over there, remember. Uh, I don't know if I like that there. Come on. Maybe if I flipped it the other way so that the jagged edge is maybe if I tucked it underneath so it looked like it was more part of the yeah I like it better underneath okay I think I'm going to do the same thing. I don't like the straight edge here. Come on. Yeah, as you can tell, I rip stuff up. <laughs> if I end up ruining it, yeah, it's just a little piece of washi. I'll just have to find something else. Still think I want to wash you for the top and the bottom of this part. Okay, this is not working out. That's what I want, just kind of peeking. Okay. Now, I really like this. I feel like I want it there to kind of finish that sort of corner there, and I want something round there. I don't know. Oh. That wasn't part of... But use this on another or try to use it on another page and it never never worked out and this too okay I feel like I need another piece of something here behind yeah I like that it finishes that corner it was kind of bugging me and then maybe I can put the and and special moments just wish I could cut this off let's see if I can do it doesn't look very thick so should be able to do it 
These are jewelry pliers. Uh, it seems to be working. There. Now it's more like a flare. I'll just kind of put it down over the edge so you can. But at least I don't get the bulkiness underneath. So I like that. Okay. Now I have a tag. I got to have some kind of thread in there. Let me see if I can find my thread quickly. Oh, okay. I didn't find my thread, but I found some twine. Same thing. I'll just take the white one. I think because I have splash of black there, I think I'd like that thin black washi tape if I can find it. Let me see if I can find it quickly. I don't know if it's in this one. I kind of ran out of space, so I had to start a new one. And the new one is sort of multicolored, so now every time I'm going to have to not in here either. I wonder if I put it in with a kit. Because it's not here. It's probably my most used washi tape. Maybe I put it in here. I love this one. It's But it's navy blue, so... Yeah, no. It's not there. Okay. It's not here. Don't think I would have put it in any other ones. Quickly. No, it's not there. Okay. I'll probably put it in a kit somewhere. Um, let me see if I can find something else that's that's numbers, so it doesn't really relate. That's alpha. That's cameras. No. <clears throat> I'm one, I was I was looking for black because I have these words that are in black and then I have a few shots of black in here. So I hear my husband coming home, so I'll come back and finish after. Finish this page and I'm going to try to <clears throat> upload it to YouTube tonight. So it's there for tomorrow, which would be March 2nd. I'll probably, I don't know, I'll probably have a few videos some days, a couple of videos, so I can catch up. Because I think I have 11, 12, 13 still to upload, and that's just prepping the pages uh, with embellishments, not even photos or anything. So what I'm going to do is, uh, because I don't want to fall behind on getting this part done, because I want to make sure that I get a page a, get a page a day done for the month. Not necessarily that I'm going to do a page a day. Some days I'm going to do two. But at the end of the month, I want to have 31 pages. And I'm going to try to do 31 videos. I'm, I really am going to try. But like I said, some of them might not be real time. Some of them might be um, fast forwarded. Still haven't decided if I want this here. I think I want to keep it here because I did find my little thin washi tape. 
I, after I turned the video off, I kind of sat and thought, okay, when was, when did I use that? And when I used it was when I did my class. So I still have some of this stuff in a, sort of a container. I haven't put that away yet. So I went and there it was. And I think that's going to have the striking effect that I wanted. Yes. And I think that's what's going to, that kind of made my decision to kind of put my title up there instead of below, I think. I want to try it again. Now, this isn't on wax paper like I normally do. This was on the sheet, the sticker sheet that it came on, and I just cut it apart. I think I like it up here and I'll tell you why because it contains it to this here it kind of oh, I don't know okay let's find the alphas for these and I think I'm going to use these alphabet and I can find some. Uh, wax paper. Tear a strip off here. Okay. I think I might do the little square letters. I think. I never know until I actually put it on and then I go, yeah, I like it, or no, nah, I don't. Love. And the only reason I'm choosing love these moments is because I really like those two things. And yeah like those two. I'm going to try and make it fit so it fits right at the end of this and at the start of that. So I might have to put, I don't know. See these, you can, there's still room to cut to make them smaller. So I might do that. Still trying to upload my video. It's having a hard time. The videos are really big because they're in real time. So even if I, I still upload them to my iMovie and I still process them, but they're so big that they're like 10 gigs for one video. So they're huge. The thing is, is these are quite separated. So I can put them a little closer. I'll put, ooh, almost ripped the V off. Yeah, so that was so cute. Um, my husband was out there, I think he was um, cutting down some little trees and stuff because our backyard like we live in the country so we don't have like a septic that's from the city like it's our own septic so it's like a, it's called a septic field and um, if trees grow on it like that it can ruin our our thing that we paid like seven thousand dollars <laughs> for it so every year he has to cut down and so I think that's what he was doing and then he saw these little chickadees and and they were coming really close to him so he went inside and they I don't know they got some kind of something to feed them and then they would put the food in their hand and um, yeah, they would, they would come right in their hand and eat it out of their hands. The kids thought that was pretty cool. And it was a nice day. It was still like winter here. You can tell there's tons of snow. But it was nice and sunny. So she was outside in a t-shirt. 
You know how teenagers are, right? Just because it's sunny. It was probably like above zero, but it wasn't like plus 20 or anything like that. <laughs> it was probably like plus five or something Celsius. So that's still really cold. But they were only out there for a few bits and long enough for me to take some pictures. And that was one of my favorite ones because just her expression, she's just like, ah, this is so cool. <laughs> so, so here's where I'm going to do my journaling. And because I was not feeling well last week, I didn't get to do as many things as I wanted to. So I didn't get to go at the beginning of all my pages and like do the journaling on little recipe cards. So, um, yeah, I'm just going to, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to write right over that XO. I'm okay with that. And here I'm going to leave it and I got to go on my hard drive again and find the date. And here I'll just put the date. I think it was 2012 or 2011. I think it was her grad year. So I think it was 2011, 2012. I don't know. So I'll have to go and then I'll put um, the year. So um, I'm just going to put the kids were so pumped when the little Chicka, chicka, ugh, chickadees, <laughs> eight, right out of their hands. That's the other thing. When I do my journaling on the cards, um, I can check the spelling and stuff. Um, it was... So awesome how the birds didn't seem to be afraid. Um, it wasn't only one there was a whole bunch and then I just want to put I love Caitlin's expression it really oof, shows how much they loved it. Oh, my writing is kind of bad. That's another thing. I find if I don't have the journaling done beforehand, then my writing is rushed. And Anyway, it is done. I'm going to put merch. I know it's March. So I'm going to put merch. And I think it's 2012. So I'll put 2012 just to finish this video because I have to plug in my um, hard drive and all that. And I'll do it as soon as I finish this video. And then if it's wrong, I'll fix it. 2000. Oh my goodness, I hope you can't hear my stomach. <clears throat> Because I was sick for a few days, I didn't eat very much at all. And even like today, I only ate like a little bit. I just can't seem to, my appetite is not back. So I think my stomach is saying like, feed me, but I, I can't. <laughs> so that's it. I think that's going to finish the first layout for March. So I'm going to upload this video, like I said, March 2nd. Now, tomorrow I'm going to try and do one before I go to work. And then it'll probably be uploaded like 
March 3rd, and then I'm off 3rd, 4th, 5th, 6th, and 7th. So then I'll try to do a whole bunch so that when I work the 8th, the 9th, the 10th, and the 11th, that I don't have to worry about getting any any done for those four days. Now this, I can totally center this a little bit better. Oops. Might be 2011, but anyway, I'll check and then I'll just change the, the last digit. And that's it. So the journaling is done. The date is on. The title. I have quite a bit of embellishment. I decide to keep the photo in the middle and kind of embellish around it. And I like that sometimes to just embellish the width of the photo, like from left to right. And then I just put my title and then I do one little cluster off in the distance. And then your picture is still in the middle. And Not done. <laughs> As I was putting stuff away, I remembered, oh, yeah, I wanted to use some of these just as extra, and I like the color. So I'm just going to get my bone folder, and I'm going to use them as um, basically enamel dots. So we'll just try not to rub any extra off that I don't want. I'm just going to put three per cluster. There. Right here. Another thing too I want to, I forgot, is I'm going to bring that basket in and I'm going to show you the basket that I'm going to be using to put all those extra embellishments. Um, you know, the ones that I didn't use for this page and where I'm going to keep them so that I have somewhere quick to go look for embellishments if I find that when I get, you know, other pages done that I'm kind of, oh, I wish I had something else. And I want to show you how many embellishments I have left too that I didn't use for this page kind of thing. And the rub-ons, I hadn't put them with this specific kit because I said I was going to keep them uh, on the side because then that way I could use them for different layouts. And rub-ons are so finicky. I didn't want to, you know, just leave this with this kit because then it would rub off on something else. And so I'd rather just keep them all together and kind of cut them off as I need them and use them. Well, I hope that doesn't look like bird doo-doo. <laughs> I just thought of it after I put it on. Oh, well. Okay, so I'm going to get my little basket. So this is what I'm going to keep for all those extra embellishments so that I can use it on something else. Oh, that little washi. Okay, that's just trash. I'm just going to throw that out. Okay, so I'm just going to put everything that is left. And I want to see how much stuff is left. I don't think there's too much. I have a few tickets. I have that little heart, which, you know what? I only have one heart. So let's... Um, Let's put a little heart somewhere else. There we go. A little heart. And then there's a little piece of washi tape. Might as well not waste. There's another heart here, but it's so huge. I'm okay with just having two. Um, that's fine. If I could find a little one for there. Let me see. I'm going to put that washi tape in there so I can... So that's not bad. That's like a few pieces that I have to carry forward. I've used quite a bit 
of stuff on this layout. But I'm going to keep this here. So next time I have a pink layout, I'm going to have this right here. Let me see if I can find a little pink heart or something to stick up there. <clears throat> I know I have... It's kind of not the right color. Uh, let me see. There's not too many that have little hearts. Oh, wrong color again. Ah. Okay. There is. No little hearts. I think there was hearts on this, but I used them all. Maybe not. Hmm. Oh well. Like I said, it's not a big deal. I'm not too worried about it. What about... Little hearts in the back here. This little heart here. Little washy, washy heart. Let's see if I can make it work. Hard to manipulate because it's so delicate. Kind of goes with the XO. Whoops. Kind of stuck to my hand. Oh my goodness, my stomach is like being uh, a little crazy right now. Okay. I think I'd like to see the shape of the heart. Uh, let me move this a little bit more. I find it's hanging off the, the label a little too much. Or not the label, but the banner there like that a little better. So now I have a heart in every single one. Not like I said, it didn't really matter that much, but I found one so it works good. And now that's it. <laughs>